Hey creative friends, it's Gwen and I'm back today to share with you some frugal scrapbooking tips. I'm on a mission. I actually purchased a couple of scrapbooking collections this week and have been reminded just how expensive this lovely hobby of ours can be and I thought, you know what? Let me put together uh, a bunch of my frugal scrapbooking ideas and share them with you. Jumping on in to tip number one, and we need to talk photos. If you print your photos in bulk, you will always save money. I know a lot of the girls do have the Canon selfies, and I have one too, but I've done the math, and the box of sheets and ink for the Canon selfie is $40 here in Australia, and that works out at $0.37 cents per print. To get the prints done at my local printing shop, they are 10 cents per print. So you're really paying for convenience. I still use my selfie when I want to print one, maybe two photos, but when I'm organized, I take the time to get a bunch of prints ready to go, send them off to the print shop, and I'm really saving money. Tip number two is to stalk your favorite brands. Be sure to follow them on social media, but also jump onto their newsletters. They'll often share via the newsletter sales that they don't announce on their socials, and you'll often get pre-release information. So if there is a sale for everyone, the people on the newsletter will find out first. Yeah! There are some newsletters that will also send free digital designs and printouts, so be sure to look out for those. If you love free cut files, there's a link in the description box below. Tip number three is to upcycle. I'm always collecting bits and bobs that come into the house, including little tags from, uh, these actually came from a plastic box that I purchased. I keep things like doilies and cardboard packaging. This is great to mount your photos with. And I even received this gift bag with a purchase um, quite recently, and it's completely white except for the logo. So I am definitely going to upcycle this into a gift bag for Christmas. So here's a great example of upcycling that will really save you money. This is the foam that I use to mount my photos with, and it comes in a package at Spotlight for $18. This is the cardboard that came in a recent purchase that my husband made from, I think it was from a stationery supplier. And there was a bunch of these sheets in the packaging, and I am going to use those, and they are free. So tip number four is to shop in non-craft store stores. <laughs> this is the tape that I get. I do get this one from Spotlight, but I follow rule number one and I buy it in bulk. But for my foam tape, this one doesn't come in a foam tape. So to save money with the foam, I actually buy this giant roll at my local Bunnings. Now Bunnings is a big box hardware store here in Australia, and you get 40 meters of this double-sided foam tape there for $11. If you compare that to the craft store brand, that is normally four meters for $6.50. So this is a much, much better option. Tip number five is to shop at discount stores. So in Australia, that might be something like the Reject Shop or Kmart or something like Tuesday Morning or the Dollar Spot. They've got great deals on basics and really practical things. So like maybe enamel dots. This washi tape was a real steal. I think $5.50 for 10 rolls. It's from Kmart. Same with the paper pad, really um, good quality paper at a really cheap price. Also though, not just supplies, don't just think about supplies. These cute little clear boxes, which are great for storage, they're really great to get from the Dollar Spot and Kmart. So keep your eye out for not just your supplies, but your storage ideas as well. Tip number six is to ask and look for bundle options. Quite often, a scrapbook store will have a deal going if you want the entire collection. So rather than buy all of the elements separately, if you want the full collection and they order it in for you, you can get it at a really good bundle deal. Having said that, tip number seven is to remember that you need less than you think. 
the best way to save money on scrapbooking is to shop your stash. Get inside your stash, know what you have and use what you have. Knowing what you have will also help you understand the supplies that you don't use and the supplies that you do use. And all of that will add up to better buying choices in the future. Tip number eight is to go digital. And I'm not just talking cut files like these. Also consider digital elements from scrapbook collections, digital paper, digital elements. A lot of the big brands are doing those. I've seen them in Echo Park, Simple Stories and Maggie Holmes. Also consider a digital scrapbooking class or online event. Often a virtual event is much cheaper than an in-person event. Tip number nine is to make your own embellishments. While packs like these are super cute and fun to work with, a lot of these elements could be handmade. These little journaling cards, tags, for example, you could buy a tag die or tag cup file and reuse it over and over and never have to buy tags pre-cut and pre-made ever again. Tip number 10 is to scrap with friends and pool your supplies. So the perfect supplies for this kind of crafting are stamps, your uh, thin dies or embossing folders. If you get a bunch of the girls together, bring along a couple of these elements and share them with the group. You can also do swap groups. Often I see those online on Facebook where there might be a theme for the month and participants will create a bunch of elements in that theme and they all get swapped and shared with each other. This also works super well at a craft retreat. Before I get on to my bonus tip for you, I did want to share this layout here. It's using a lot of the tips, especially upcycling. So this tag here is actually one that came off of a piece of clothing. There are some paint chips that are free from the hardware store in the paper layers here. This paper here, this little one at the back, it is actually baking paper. It's not that expensive transparent paper at the store. It's common baking paper. I've got paper from the phone book layered up in here as well and bits and pieces from just random note packs. And you can make that look like a store bought scrapbook layout. So really jump on in with the upcycling. Is there anything so far that I have missed? If you're a frugal scrapbooker, I would love to know your tips in the comments below. Tip number 11 is to gut your pattern papers. If you're not sure how to achieve this, I have made a video where I go through the process step by step using my paper trimmer to get the most out of my pattern papers. Uh, you can check that out right here. If you'd like some more ideas on how to stash bust your supplies, be sure to check out this video right here. It's part of my Maggie Holmes Monday stash busting series. Thank you so much for being here, my creative friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.